In Cincinnati, Boomer's old job and number now belong to second-year man David Klingler. Thus far in 1993, it's been an uphill struggle for Klingler and the Bengals. And it was an opportunistic Seahawks defense that had the young quarterback's number last Sunday. Eugene Robinson's interception typified a bleak afternoon for Klingler, who was benched in the second half. Meanwhile, his young counterpart, Seattle rookie Rick Meyer, was still experimenting with all kinds of new ways to complete a pass in the NFL. Meyer's pinball completion found an unlikely target in 300-pound tackle Ray Roberts. And while Roberts was a load to bring down, even Meyer's lightweight receivers like Brian Blades absorbed the Bengals' heaviest blows. But despite moving the chains, Seattle's offense never reached the end zone. In fact, neither team scored a touchdown until Bengal backup Jay Schrader directed an 85-yard fourth-quarter drive that ended in a scoring strike to Carl Pickens. Fires over the middle. Oh! Carl Pickens! Oh! Touchdown, Cincinnati! Pickens' touchdown put Cincinnati ahead 10-9, but as has been the case all season, the Bengals were cursed with bad luck and bad timing. And with less than five minutes to play, they let the game slip away in their own end zone. The hand comes to Harold Green, oh, no. and he is tackled in the end zone. Oh. He fumbles the football, and they see wow. what's have it for a touchdown. Wow! I don't believe that. I don't believe what I just saw. I do not believe what I just saw. That defies description. And the Seahawks are defying some experts. They're now 2-2, two and two, heading into a divisional showdown with the Chargers this Sunday.